50 days of strength, learning how to pray scripture. The Lord's Prayer, the Ten Commandments, and Psalms 23. Good morning. Thanks for joining me on my morning prayer walk. What a beautiful day that it is. Absolutely spectacular. I am so grateful you're with me today as we're reading through the Bible, studying how to pray, being prepared for the giant in our lives. We are reading scripture and we're praying God's word. Four men were asked, where do you keep your Bible? The first man answered and said, well, I keep my Bible in the trunk of my car. Kind of like the spare tire, just in case I need it. The second man answered and said, well, I keep my Bible in the living room on the coffee table so the whole family can see it. The third man answered, well, I keep my Bible on my nightstand upstairs so I can read it every night before I go to bed. All three of those answers are great answers, having the Bible wherever you're at. But the fourth man surprised everyone. He said, I keep the Bible in my heart. Psalms 119, thy word have I hidden my heart that I might not sin against thee. Boy, having the word of God and praying scripture every day changes our lives. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Lord, today I pray the will of the Father in my life. I pray that you will provide daily bread, exactly what I need today. Lord, I forgive, and I ask that you would forgive me. I pray, Lord, that you would lead me today. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. Don't make any idols today. Certainly don't bow down before them. My name is holy. Don't misuse my name. Praise my name and worship my name. Sunday's coming, the Sabbath. Remember to keep it holy. Honor your family, starting with your dad and your mom. And don't kill anybody or commit adultery today. And certainly don't lie or steal and don't covet. Oh Lord, I love you with all of my heart. I praise you. I lift up your name with my lips. And Lord, when it comes to others, help me honor them today, I pray. Help me honor others. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leads me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou prepares a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Thou anointeth my head with oil, and my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. In Jesus' name. Lord, you are my shepherd, and I thank you for being my shepherd. Lord, lead me and guide me. Help me find the green pastures. Help me settle down with a heart filled with peace as I come to the still waters. I pray before I start my day that you would restore my soul, my emotions and my thoughts, that I would not be emotional reacting. I wouldn't be irrational, but you would restore me before I do anything else today. Oh Lord, anoint me. Let me live on the overflow in my life. I look forward to that day, Lord. 
where I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. In Jesus' name. Oh, praying the word of God changes our lives. That's what it's all about. Praying God's word, having five smooth stones. Can you believe it? You already have the first three. And together on my morning prayer walk, we just prayed three powerful passages of scripture. Remember, God loves you. And share the message with others that God loves them too. And I love you too. And I'm praying for you this morning and praying for your family. You be blessed today.